Hi, today I'm going to show you how to enable turtle mode on the Happy Model Snapper 6 uh, as well as any other micro that mounts the Crazy B F3 flight controller. So, um, first thing you want to do is to connect your uh, micro to USB port, like so, and also plug in a battery because we are going to check first uh, the ESC uh, in BL Heli. So install BL Heli, the link is going to be in the description and launch it and then click connect. So once in BL Heli you click connect and then uh, on the bottom here you click on read setup and uh, don't touch any of the parameter um, just click on flash all and ignore the first one and leave it as it is you need to be sure to get the 16.7 uh, uh, version and then you click on flash um, I already done it so I don't need to do it again but you need the 16.7 version and then uh, you can uh, once the process is done you disconnect and let's move on to beta flight now uh, it says here uh, if you go to uh, firmware flasher uh, it says here com4 so when you're in com4 or com3 or whatever uh, com you have you cannot um, you cannot flash the firmware so what you need to do you need to use this tool here again link is in the description um, this tool what you just double click on it it's called impulse rc and it will basically uh, prepare your usb port uh, to be in DFU mode, which is what you need to flash the firmware in uh, your micro. So now as you can see it says DFU and instead of selecting from there you select the, the firmware, which is this one, the link is in the description, it's the 3.4 of Crazy B FR. Um, then so uh, make sure that uh, full chip arrays it's on and now you click on load firmware local, select the firmware, click open and then uh, flash firmware. I, I already done it so I don't need to do it again. Uh, keep in mind that this will completely remove all your settings so after that you will need to reconfigure your micro. Um, once that's done you unplug it and replug it back and it should become um, COM4 again or COM3 or whatever COM you have. Um, so now I'm going to just show you the settings that I have. Um, if I go to configuration, uh, make sure that you set DSHOT 600. I turn off uh, motor stop and I set the max throttle to 10. Um, then I set both of these of 4 megahertz. I turn off here. Uh, you can give the name if you want. Uh, uh, this is uh, the FR Sky D. It's the D8 mode. By default, is FR Sky X. If you want in D16, uh, turn off telemetry. I don't need it. Uh, air mode, OSD, anti gravity, and dynamic filter are on. And this is all on. Uh, then click save and reboot. Um, when you click save and reboot, sometimes it doesn't actually reboot. So just disconnect and reconnect if that happens. Uh, the battery. That's how I set it. Uh, these are my. I, I left the PIDs by default. I just set the uh, the rates again. Filter all by default. Um, basically, what you need, what you really need in the mode here. Um, I turn on this one, but it. Uh, I need to check because it doesn't doesn't quite work for me. I need to check what uh, what's going with that. But for the turtle mode, uh, what you need actually it's here it says flip over after crash uh, I set it on the uh, AUX2 uh, all the way down so uh, I'm gonna show you basically um, I'm gonna just show you how to use it um, don't forget to click save um, and then disconnect so the way you use it uh, I'm gonna arm my quad and this is just regular mode as you can see it flies away now let's say that after a crash uh, your micro is flipped like that this happens all the time so you what you do is you disarm 
and then you switch the aux to all the way down your arm back and then you use this stick here and there you go and the quad is flipped back now this arm uncheck the aux to and arm it normally and you can fly away so I hope you enjoyed this quick guide as you can see uh, now I have turtle mode enabled uh, I just flipped and whoop and that's flicked back uh, full credit to Stephen Merrill uh, that provided me with the uh, Betaflight 3.4 Crazy BFR that actually works so credit to him and thank you for watching